students and welcome to class. I'm Miss Katie, that vegan teacher, and I am here to try to help convince you to be vegan, to stop hurting animals. And today we are going to be looking at this channel here called Avant Garde Vegan. So I got my paper ready and I already made my first check mark because he has made a presentation for class and we're gonna have a look at it. Now he's talking about high protein vegan meal prep. So let's have a look and see what we like and what we don't like. You guys ready? Here we go. If any of you are wondering why I've got my glasses on, to remember all the facts about the nutrients, I had to put them on so I could see my screen in the background. They're not for show, I promise. I just can't see very well. Okay. So far, I like the attitude. Check mark. Season four. Look at those edamame beans. Hi guys, it's Gaz and welcome back to my oh. YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing something slightly different. I'm going to be showing you how to do vegan meal prep. So before I went vegan, I used to bodybuild and in my Q&A video, you guys requested that I made some vegan high protein meal prep ideas for you guys. What I'm going to be cooking today is full of flavor. It's got lots of protein and all the other nutrients that you need when you're training or working out regularly. Okay, I didn't know he was a bodybuilder. I'm not gonna give a check mark for that though. You don't have to be a bodybuilder, that's fine. You just be a normal person as long as you're healthy and do some exercise. I'm actually gonna be starting with the main meal first because that takes longest to cook. And the sweet potatoes are behind me cooking and to serve with them, I'm gonna be doing a nice bean chili, which is full of nutrients, protein, Ooh. and it's really healthy. So let's get cooking that. Check mark for sweet potatoes, that's good. Add a small amount bean of chili oil check. or water to a pan. Add one finely sliced red onion. Add one clove of minced garlic. Onion, garlic, Add all one vegan. red chili finely diced. Ooh. I'm adding two teaspoons of cayenne pepper. Oh my goodness, One good. teaspoon of cinnamon. Yes. And one teaspoon of cumin. How cool is that? Oh my goodness, I have so many check marks. How many vegan ingredients did you just count? Remember how I tell you guys that you should be trying to eat at least 10, uh, 30 vegan foods a day? So I just sort of divided in my head sort of roughly about 10 per meal. How many did you get in here? Just the spices alone, it's crazy. It's so much flavor. Wow, nice. Just allow this to cook for a couple of minutes before we'll add all the rest of the ingredients. Now, as you can see, I don't want this to be your typical boring meal prep. I wanna get some flavor in there. It's really simple to do. Add one cubed red pepper. Okay, red pepper. Check. Add three cups of chopped tomatoes from a can. It's smelling absolutely tomatoes. amazing. Tomatoes. I like that he said from a can, we gotta be realistic here, that's no problem. I'm gonna let that cook for a few minutes and then we're gonna add the beans and all the vital nutrients. Ooh. I love anything with tomato like that, do you guys? Tell so me in the comments chili what you like. It's been cooking for a little while now, it's time to add our beans. Now I've got a mix, I've got a cup of chickpeas, which are cooked. Chickpeas. I've got a cup of red kidney beans, yes. black beans and sweet corn, they're all cooked. And, oh wow. Uh, they're so high in protein, complex carbs, potassium, calcium. They're just really good for when we're working out and they repair the muscles really well. So you want as much of these into your diet when training as you can. Just get those in. Nice, so many colors, so many different foods. Okay, so, so far I only have check marks. I already have so many because I put a check mark for every single vegan food that he mentioned. What about you guys? Don't forget, if you like, you can take a picture of your, your worksheet and send it to me on Instagram. I always love to get what you guys are sending me. Just to bring out some of the flavors, I'm adding a pinch of sea salt. Okay. That's basically the chili done. It's so simple. I've slightly tweaked my actual chili recipe just to make it easier for you when you're making your meal prep on the weekends ready for the week. It's got all the vital nutrients in there that we need for when we're training. So let's get on to the next dish. Okay, before we do, I just want to remind you guys that what is really great when you're vegan is to do this batch cooking. You make a massive amount of food on the weekend and it lasts throughout the week and you just put it in different containers so you never are opening the fridge and going, oh, I don't know what to eat. Because We personally always have a big batch of lentils, we have a big batch of rice and a big batch of chickpeas and we also have a big lump of oatmeal. So we just make it all for the whole day and you can just, uh, for the whole week if you want, but you can also make it, like if you want to do your oatmeal in the morning, 
uh, that's fine too. And, and sometimes we do if we run out. But the, the point is that if you have these staples of these high uh, concentrations of nutrients and with protein in them, then it's easy to just keep adding other things to them and you make a meal. So I like that he's doing this. So as I said, guys, I'm doing everything a bit backwards, but just to make sure that I cook this efficiently and quickly, because you don't want to be cooking for a long time on the weekend. You just want to get your meals done and ready for the week, basically. Yeah. So for breakfast, I'm going to make a really simple porridge, um, which you can add milk to in the mornings, whether you just warm it up in the microwave okay. or you warm it up on a hob, whatever you like. But I'm going to make sure there's lots of flavor in there and lots of nutrients in there. Good. It's just really simple. Okay. So grab yourself four containers. So uh, porridge is the same thing as oatmeal. Because sometimes people, I think from England, ask me, what the heck's oatmeal? And I guess it's the same thing, oatmeal and porridge. I'm going to be making four of each course. So it wouldn't be porridge without the porridge oats. I've got gluten-free porridge oats. And I'm just going to do a cup in each one. After all, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You want to start your day right and get some good complex carbs and slow releasing carbs. So that's what these Um, I'm going to have to disagree there. Yeah, sometimes we were all brought up uh, being told that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And yet there is data saying that it is actually healthy to fast and to only eat around 10, 11 or noon. So there is science that says that resting our gut is good, but I'm not going to give you an X because if you're talking to children who need a lot of and who expend a lot of energy and who are growing, it's a little bit different. But I know for uh, many athletes that I know personally, they actually only eat within a certain amount of hours in a day, sometimes even within a six hour period. So let's say between noon and six, they will eat their calories, but the other hours of the day, they don't eat anything at all. So they let their gut rest. So that's just something I wanted to add there. A perfect four. Check on the chili every now and then. Just give it a little mix. It's looking perfect. I'm going to flavor the porridge with some raw cacao powder, which is full of antioxidants. Nice. Really good for the blood. And it's a aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac. <laughs> just on the side. I know what it is. The idea behind the breakfast is you just add your milk, almond or soya, give it a stir okay. and get it into a... Again, he's, he's mentioning these milks, almond, soya, you know, oat milk. Um, the healthiest one out of all of those is soy milk, but choose what you like. Saucepan or in the microwave and it'll be perfect every time. I recommend adding a cup of milk to this and it'll be perfect porridge. Next in, I'm gonna be adding some mixed nuts. I've got some coconut, some cashew nuts, some walnuts, hazelnuts, a bit of everything really. Mm -hmm. Nuts are packed full of protein, really good, good calcium. Walnuts. They're just superfoods in general. Good fats as well, which is what we need when we're training. Next, I'm gonna be adding a tablespoon of hemp seeds. Hemp seeds. Wow. Great for your skin, your hair. Also high in protein as well. Next, I'm gonna be adding around about a tablespoon of chia seeds to each one. These are literally energy food. Yep. Chia account. seeds are absolutely amazing. Chia and flax seeds, they are high in omega-3 fatty acids, which is what you want. You want the, the ratio between the three and this and omega-6 to uh, to be balanced. And so it's great that he is mentioning this. I cannot believe I probably missed a few, but look how many vegan foods he's already just put in this recipe. Oh. It's time for the Chia and Flaxseed songs. Chia seeds have omega-3. Come on, sing this song with me. Chia seeds have omega-3. Grind them up and sing it be. As you see them in your pancakes, your oatmeal, and in your daily smoothie. Flaxseeds have omega-3. Come on, sing this song with me. Flaxseeds have omega-3. Grind them up and sing it be. As you see them in your pancakes, your oatmeal, Now you know, chia seeds and flax seeds have omega-3. So many check marks. I probably missed a few. I don't think I put down every type of nut that he mentioned. Apparently ancient warriors used to have a little pouch on their belt before going into war and they used to munch on a tablespoon to give them energy in battle. I do recommend cool. adding some dried fruit um, or, or fresh berries. Just bring them along separately 
and just mix them in uh, before eating your Okay, dried fruit, fresh berries. The blueberries are great antioxidants. Think of the other berries that you can have. You can also freeze berries like raspberries and strawberries. Breakfast, make sure Banana. you have a couple of bananas with your breakfast. It's always nice setting it out like this at the start of the week. Bananas again, great sugars, perfect energy food. So that would be my breakfast. All right. Looks pretty healthy so to me. So guys, the next meal is a light lunch, which can be served hot or cold. I always like to have one meal that I need to warm up. So for example, the chili, um, and one meal that I can eat on the go, which is cool, or you can warm it up as well. I'm gonna be doing some quinoa, which I'm gonna add some amazing flavors to. I'm quinoa. gonna make it a lemon and herb quinoa. Good. And also serve it with some grilled piri piri tofu. But if you don't wanna use tofu or soy products, um, I recommend serving this dish with some falafel. Tofu. And tofu with... is very nutritious. Some people sometimes spread these rumors that it isn't, but I know people who have eaten tofu every single day for years and they are super healthy and strong, including vegan athletes. So don't let anybody tell you differently. Tofu is excellent. It's an excellent source of protein. Really do check out my falafel and flatbreads video because this works really well and it's packed full of protein and good nutrients as well but I actually have the most amazing falafel recipe in my book. So make sure you pre-order that on Amazon. It's vegan 100 or just type in Gaz Oakley and you can pre-order it now. It'll be out very soon. Okay, Back it's a book. to the, the lunch. I've got my quinoa here. I've cooked it off and I've got four cups in total. That's a cup for each dish. And quinoa is so good for repairing or building muscles because it contains all of the essential amino acids, which is vital for when we're building muscle or repairing muscle. So we need to get this in when we're training. So first up, I've just preheated this griddle pan behind me. And when it's hot, I'm gonna start grilling the tofu. But first up, let's mix together our quinoa. I'm gonna add the juice of one lemon. Lemon, Squeeze good, yes. Squeeze it your hands so you don't get any Vitamin of the C. in. As you can see, I have a mix of quinoa here. I've got the red and just the white as well. I've just steamed this, really simple to cook. Two it kinds only of takes quinoa. about 10 minutes. So Ooh. into my quinoa, I'm just adding some mixed herbs. I've just got a mix nice. of thyme, parsley, and basil. Thyme, parsley, basil. Add whatever basil. you like. Chives are really good as nice. well. Nice. Just roughly chop it. As I said, this meal, I recommend uh, having it cold. Um, it's good to have an option of a cold dish, especially if you can't get to a microwave, it's all yeah, about... Yeah, and it's also good to eat raw foods. In fact, you should eat a lot of raw foods. They are completely amazing for your microbiome in your gut to feed the healthy, the good bacteria in there. Getting some really nice flavors into the quinoa. Mm. It's got all the nutrients in there. You just need to add some nice flavors. I'm also gonna add a cup of chickpeas just to get some extra protein. I just love chickpeas as well. It makes Perfect. it a bit more substantial, really. Smells amazing. Nice. You don't have to add salt, but I add a little bit of salt to bring out some flavors. Okay. Give that a, a stir bit around. Of salt's okay. Make sure everything's well incorporated, and let's get on with the grilling of the tofu. I've just okay. pre-marinated this tofu in some of my piri piri sauce. If you want the recipe, go to my skewers video. That, that just transforms the tofu into something really, really flavoursome. Wow. Tofu no, is a great source of protein and really good source of calcium as well. Yeah. So let's grill these and add them to the dish cool. with the quinoa. So if you want to get the recipe for the sauce that he put on the tofu, you have to go to the other video that you saw pop up on the screen there. Add some oil to your griddle pan. If you don't want to add oil, just put them on a lined baking tray and cook them in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, I'm glad that he mentioned that because some people don't like to add oil and I am one of those people. So he's showing that there is an alternative to adding oil because we don't need oil and oil has been proven to be not good for us, especially like if you add it that way. If you have oil that's inside, let's say an avocado, that's okay. And some oil that is inside of nuts, mixed nuts, that's okay as long as it's a whole food. But when you're just eating oil directly, like taking oil that way, it's not good. And you can uh, you can obviously cook things in uh, water if you want, but like he's saying, you can also uh, just cook it in the oven if you want to. But you know, if you have just a little bit of oil just on the bottom of the pan so that it doesn't stick to it, uh, it's not the end of the world.
Ooh, look at that sizzle. Whilst the tofu is grilling behind me, I'm just gonna dish up the quinoa into the bowl and just add around a cup into each one. I only like to make four of everything because after four days, really, you don't really want to be eating it. All the flavors would have ah. gone. Okay, I was wondering why he was making four, because typically when people meal prep, they do it for five days, five days of the week. He's doing it for four, and there's good reason. He says that by the end, it's kind of wilted a bit by the time you get to the end of Thursday, I guess. And everything does, doesn't taste as good, really. They look really tasty. The griddle marks add some great flavor and just tra transform the bland tofu. Once they're done, we'll add them to the pots and then we'll get on with the final dish. Mmm, that looks so good. They won't be much longer. Around about three to four minutes on each side. If you try tofu and you don't like it, do not give up. There are so many recipes out there. Just Google them and keep trying. It all depends on what you're sauteing them in, like what you're marinating them in, what kind of spices you're putting on them, how you're cooking them. I mean, but tofu is on its own, just bland. My husband actually just eats it straight like that out of the package. He doesn't even cook it. He just takes a slice, he puts some salt and pepper on it, and he says, oh, it reminds him of cheese. Like, okay. I mean, I don't I like it that much when it's plain, but I also have been known to eat it. Just stand there and just take a chunk off and eat it. But it's kind of bland tasting, but there are so many amazing vegan recipes. So keep looking. If you didn't find one yet that you like, try and try again. Lovely. Add two slices of tofu to each dish. So I'm just adding the last of the tofu to the lunch meal. And I recommend when the tofu is cool, then add in some spinach. But to speed things up, I'm gonna add it for you guys now. And spinach, spinach yes. is literally essential to good health, really. I eat so much of spinach. So I'm just gonna add a handful yeah. to each meal. You can never get enough spinach. I mean, that might look like he's putting a handful in there, but the reality is once it's chopped down in your body, it's like this much, it's hardly even anything. In fact, Dr. Brooke Goldner, who has helped a lot of people to reduce all of their symptoms of lupus and different types of uh, autoimmune diseases, says that you should have an, an almost like an entire bag stuffed into your blender every morning. You just press that button and just add some water, a little bit of pineapple or some fruit that you like, and a banana, a nice ripe banana for sweetness. And she drinks that whole thing, two liters a day, two liters, like that's just, like a massive, just your entire huge blender full. That's what she drinks because she says it helps to renew the cells and it's an anti-inflammatory. So yeah, raw foods. I'm also gonna add some cherry tomatoes to the dish, which are really high in vitamin C and just add another nice. I say tomatoes and vitamin. He says tomatoes and vitamin, but that's okay. Color to the dish. I hope these meal prep ideas really help you out because they're really good to make at the start of your week and feel free cool. just to tailor them to your taste. But this is what I would generally eat. I've had the time to train. I am gonna get back into it soon. I miss having a little bit of size to me. Nah. So I'm gonna add in some sliced red cabbage, dark pigmented foods, such as red cabbage and things like berries. Oh yes, red cabbage and fermented foods. That's great. Look how pretty that is. They call it red cabbage, but it looks pretty purple to me. And then one, once again, another food that he's added. Works this add is more so oxygen much. to the blood and are also anti inflammatory. Oh, that looks so yummy. So the chili is basically done. It's been on the stove for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm going to get my sweet potatoes out of the oven, which I've just baked. Now, you can mash, you can just peel them, or you can just slice them up with the skin on. Do whatever you want with the sweet potatoes. I like to use sweet potatoes because they are great full of vitamin C, they're a really health, healthy vegetable. They're a lot better than general white potatoes. But mm. what I will say, if you are training and you wanna put weight on, I recommend eating white potatoes over sweet potatoes, but these are a lot healthier. So I'm getting my four containers out and I'm just gonna prepare these sweet potatoes. I just like to chop off the end and open them up. As I said, you're welcome to peel these. I don't mind the skin. It actually is full of flavor and sweetness. Mm. I just open it up like that. And I've got six in total. So I'm gonna add uh, one and a half Very to each good. meal. Very 
Sweet potatoes have too many positives to mention. A lot, I and agree. And look at the range of colours we have already. It's just making sure that we're eating the rainbow and getting loads of nice nutrients into Eat the body. rainbow, Before yes. Before I add the chilli over the top of the amazing sweet potato, I've got a little recipe for you, which is really flavoursome and you can use it in loads of other dishes. I'm going to be making creme fraiche or sour cream, which works really well with the chilli and it helps cool it down slightly. Mm. And it's made from cashew nuts, which are again, full of protein and they're really good for us. In cool, this a sauce made out of cashew nuts. Mm. Ginger cup, I have oh, I should write that half down. a cup down. of soaked cashew nuts, and to it, cashew. all I'm going to add is half... Cashew nuts? <laughs> Does anybody else say cashew nuts? I say cashew, you say cashew. Half a cup of water. water. I may need to add a little bit more water, but we'll see how this is. If so you just cute. roll the lemon like this, it will release some more of the juice. Ah uh, yes, that's I'm a good trick. Rolling the lemon. Half a lemon because after all, we want it to be like sour cream or creme fraiche, we need to make it, um, we need to get that lemon in basically to get some acidity yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, this stuff Just is so good. squeeze it through your hand. Wash your hands first. Add a pinch of salt. Pop your lid on. And blitz it up on a high speed. That's it, good. I have the same machine. And there we have it is our creme fraiche done, simple as that. Just adds a little coolness to our chilli. It will thicken up so nice. once you uh, refrigerate it. It's just quite warm because it's been in a powerful blender. You need to make sure you blend it long enough so that it gets really, really smooth. I'll just yeah. pop that aside and Those then kind we'll of get it on top good. of the chilli. All right, right. the chilli's done. It's smelling really, really nice. You saw how quickly it was to make and how stress-free it is. And mm. Just look at that. How beautiful that looks. Beautiful. Cut full of flavour. Smells Amazing. Incredible. Before I add it to the containers, I'm going to add some beautifully cooked broccoli, which broccoli. I've just steamed. These little trees are actually full of protein, believe it or not. Cruciferous. And also a great source of vitamin K and iron, which is essential for a vegan diet. So simply get our lovely bean chilli over the top of our sweet potato. I'm getting sure so get hungry watching this. A decent amount in there. I try to aim for around a cup of the chili, just so you know that you're getting lots of the flavors and nutrients into it. And look, there's even some left for your evening meal the day of making this. Lastly, to the dish, I'm gonna add some edamames. Around so about pretty. A handful in each one. These. Great edamames. So high in protein. Edamame beans. And they're really flavoursome as well. We buy those frozen. They're actually soybeans, so if you don't want soybeans, just leave them out. Add something like kale, um, that would work. Yeah, perfectly. yeah, edamame beans are soybeans. They look green, but they're soybeans. Well. Also edamame on top, beans. I'm going to add our little creme fraiche. I recommend leaving the chilli cool down slightly before adding this. But I just want you to see the finished dish. Otherwise, it gets too mushy. Just for you to squeeze Lime. over. Where your line. Mark. I recommend having some avocados in the fridge, which you can just cut when you're about. Oh, is that? I thought it was a lime. It's avocado. Eat Perfect. The meals, um, they add some great fats and also some protein. So get some avocados in with the chili as well. Just don't put them in ahead of time because they'll go all dark and horrible. Mm. I also like to stay hydrated. Of course, you need lots water. of water when you're training. So snacking on some watermelon is great. It's so healthy for you as well. But make sure you have big bottles of water that you can drink throughout the day. So I'm just gonna slice up this watermelon into some nice chunks. You can slice this up smaller, but I like having a big chunk to take with me wherever I'm going and bite on it. So guys, there's my meal prep done. I've just got some sweet treats. So I've got my salted caramel Dessert. bars that I made. In so, it never ends. Salty caramel. In the previous video. They're full of fiber because they got loads of dates in there. Ac Yum. Antioxidants because of the raw chocolate. Sweeten things with dates. Dates are nutritious, full of vitamins and minerals. Excellent idea. And lots of nuts, of course. Nuts, so more I'm gonna nuts. So get one of these in each of these containers here. And this is a nice snack. Or if you feel like a sweet treat, that's also healthy. Amazing. I recommend having one of those. That is Cherries, so great. They're actually a really good food to eat after working out because it's a dark fermented fruit again and they get lots of oxygen in your blood which you need after working out. It helps repair your muscles. So grab a little handful of each of those and get them into the bowl. 
cherries. Oh my goodness. I have run out of space on here. <laughs> and you know what? I mean, Likewise, I just... blueberries are the same. Can he add any more to this? So it's incredible. And also a superfood, as we all know. All right, so I am giving this guy, I am giving this guy an A plus. I mean, what else can I give him? I mean, just look at that. It's just beautiful. It's amazing. So lovely, look at that. Who wouldn't want that? If you came over to somebody's house and they handed you that, wouldn't you just be like, yay? Because it's so good for you. There is no excuse for animal abuse. You can buy all these things at your local grocery store. Congratulations, Avant-Garde. I gave you an A+. I think it's just a wonderful presentation full of healthy foods. So, so many different vegan foods in this. So the idea is when you're going shopping, don't buy too much of one thing, but just buy a whole variety. You know, one apple and one pear and one bit of some, some grapes and some cherries and some, just everything. And then when you make your meals, they can look like a rainbow so thanks everyone let me know in the comments what you guys think do you guys like any of these foods do you prepare things like this do you have any other suggestions write it down below let me know and thank you so much for being vegan and if you're not vegan yet you should seriously think about it because it is great for the animals who we don't want them to suffer and it's also great for your health and the environment your eco footprint goes down the more vegan foods that you buy Thanks a lot for being here. And coming up on screen are gonna be a bunch of other videos. Click on them if you like. Be curious and don't forget to give yourself a big hug. And the reason you give yourself a big hug is because you are your own best friend. People come, people go, but you are the only one who will always be able to show yourself how important you are. Show yourself and show the world that you are able to stand proud, and to be vegan. Never, never be ashamed of being vegan because you are an animal defender and you are great. And I'm so proud of you for trying and moving forward. Thank you so much and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's help her save every chicken, pig, and cow. Let's follow that vegan teacher.